My name is Justin Souza. I'm the Director of Veteran Services for the Town of Northborough. This year on Veterans Day 2020, unfortunately, we have to deal with the COVID pandemic. Normally, we would have a luncheon at the Senior Center with uh, many state representatives and town officials, as well as the American Legion Post from Northborough to represent our veterans and to say thank you. So I wanted to take a second to make sure that we created a program to say thank you to all those who have served. My grandfather served in the Navy Seabees in Guam, World War II. My two uncles served, one in the Coast Guard and one in the Navy. My father served in the Army during Vietnam. And then I served in the Army, uh, the Army National Guard in Afghanistan. I now serve veterans every day in my capacity as a veteran service officer. So I want to say thank you to all the veterans here in Northborough, in Massachusetts, and across the country. I would not be able to do what I do every day if it were not for your service and the service of all our brave patriots throughout history. Everyone who served should feel very honored when someone thanks you for your service. And I would say to be gracious and thank them back because those people will never understand what you did for them, but they know that it was important and they wanna give you recognition. There's a group called Burroughs Cares for Troops in Northborough, a very honorable nonprofit that seeks to assist veterans in Northborough and the surrounding towns. They are starting a food pantry in December and they would like to work with my office to get the word out so if you know of any veterans who may benefit from food pantry come December or January, please have them get in touch with my office and my number is located on the, the town hall website or with Burroughs Cares for Troops, either through their website, uh, bc4t.org or through the Legion Post in Northborough. There's also a program that was started by Adam Costello through Easter Seals called Veterans Count. And he's going to be providing services to veterans uh, who need um, help with resumes, job, job searches, and, and not your typical type of employment services, but also he's starting a Veterans Count community program called, um, I think called Live Your Best Life. And I'm wearing the shirt for that organization. And they want to create a community of veterans who go out and just do stuff. Uh, apple picking, dodgeball, uh, weightlifting competitions sometimes. So just getting veterans who are whose only connection is being a veteran together from different demographics, cultures, and backgrounds to go out and do things, to create a community. And most of their programs are very family friendly um, and open to veterans of all ages. So with that said, I hope that you have a wonderful Veterans Day this year. Make sure you check in with your veteran friends. And if you're a veteran, make sure you check in with your battle buddies and your fellow service members who no, no longer are serving. Uh, Armed Forces Day is, is meant to um, honor the current active duty members. And Memorial Day is meant to honor those who have passed. Veterans Day is to honor those veterans currently with us, like myself and many of the veterans that you meet throughout town. So make sure you say thank you that means a lot to them. And uh, you'll see by the smiles on their faces that they appreciate what you say.